Hey everybody, how y'all doing? So, real quick, look where I just left. <laughs> I had to. I had to. Um, I just needed some retail therapy. And they had so many different um designs for the blankets. But I didn't take my phone in the store. Like, I just wanted to go in the store and just see what they had. I left my purse in the car and everything. I just took my wallet. Because I was like, if I find something, I don't want to have to run back to the car. So, anyway. I hope y'all had a good day today. Look what I found. It's got... um. It's like a cream eggshell type color, like almost an ivory. And then it's got different little, um, I don't know what you would call these, like little bubbles. And they're um, like a mustard color or gold, um, a mossy green, a blue, and a pink, and then the pattern repeats. And then this one, I have not seen this one anywhere. And I was like, yes, they had three of them. And I wanted to buy extra and like send it to people in Happy Meal. But um, the way my budget, the way my bank account set up, <laughs> everything in my savings. And it's going to take five to ten business days <laughs> to get it from my savings to my checkers. So anyway, y'all know that joke. Um, this has the alphabet on it, I believe, and animals. When I get inside, I think I'm gonna open it up so you can see it. Um, this was more for like a baby boy to me, but I could turn it into girl stuff because y'all know I got all girls. But it's just a cute little blanket. I guess they would call this gender neutral because it's got the different colors and stuff. So. And last but not least, it was so hard, y'all. It was so hard not to get one of all of them just because I didn't have them. I think I might have a slight addiction. <laughs> uh, come on now. Does nobody want to hear all that in the video? Okay, and so this one. And this one is reversible. so isn't that cute and they are so soft i cannot wait to take these in and i think my most expensive one tonight this one was 13 dollars this one was 13 dollars and i think this one was my most expensive one yep and of course i had to buy other stuff got some uh raspberry covered raspberry yogurt chocolate covered pretzels um and i got some regular chocolate pretzels this what i love about the fall oh my goodness when fall i get here bang bay oh look at these things they're um uh, lemon cooler cashew meltaways I cannot wait to get in the house and try this stuff. And then I got, what is this? Some uh, soft nougat with honey and pistachios. I think I had some of this at um, a restaurant from Israel. Because it's a, a bakery up here. And it's called the Holy Land. Holy Land Bakery. And they um I, they have to be from Jerusalem. They gotta be these people. They are so nice, and they got the best desserts. I had to stop going over there because I was spending like hundreds of dollars on sweets and stuff. So I had to cut myself off. I haven't been back in quite a while, but next time I go, I think I'ma document it so y'all can see. So, yeah, this is my quick little video. I just want to show you my blankets. And um, before I hop out the car and go in the house and 
start cooking and cleaning and doing and you know what it's like to be a wife and a daughter with a sick parent so yeah all right i will talk to you all later just checking in oh um it was people under my video where my mom was in the hospital saying that um they were praying and stuff like that and i just wanted to say i appreciate all of your prayers my mother is now home with my husband and i and she's getting therapy and getting stronger and hopefully she'll be able to go back home and return to as normal as possible life so yeah but i want to put my mom in a nursing home because I worked in a nursing home and there's no way that I was going to let that happen. So I just have to do what I got to do to make sure she's okay. And I'm going to stay strong, keep my head up and keep praying and thank y'all for y'all prayers. And um, yeah, so, all right, I'll talk to y'all later. Hopefully, because my house stay loud. <laughs> That's why I'm making this video in the car. But hopefully I can... um get a video done because I want to talk about me not doing special requests anymore because uh, with me running back and forth to the hospital it was somebody who called my phone that I'm acquaintance with and she asked me for us two special babies and I stay I'm gonna go I'm gonna tell the whole story in my next video but yeah, I'm not doing special favors, and I understand artists not doing customs. However, if I had a kid already, and I tell you I just got this kid and I want you to paint it, I think that's a little different from customs because I didn't already paid for the kid and I'm sending it to you, so I'm not going to not pay for it. You know, it's my kid. So... I'm rambling. Let me get in this house and take care of my business. But yeah, I'm hopefully I get that video done tonight or tomorrow. All right, I'll talk to y'all later.